Let's look at a very simple but very very important topic that is comparison between floating point variables with double type data. I'll take a floating point variable num and assign it a value of 0.7. Now inside if block I'll check if num is equal to 0.7. In that case I'll simply print out yes true. Since I'm only using only writing single line of code inside if block I'm not enclosing it inside curly braces. If num is not equal to 0.7 this else block gets executed where I'll write not true. Simple program right? Guess the output now. Now we are just comparing num is equal to 0.7 or not. In this case not true gets printed out. Strange right? Not actually it's working as intended as intended. Let me compile and run the program for you. As expected not true gets printed. I'll let you know why. It's simple. We are comparing floating point data which is present inside variable num with double type data. So the constant 0.7 present here is, a, is of type double. So we are comparing double with floating point variable. So double will always have more precision than floating point uh, numbers. So let me show that to you. Let me make use of size of operator and output the number of bytes both these floating point and double type data consume. So size of I'll pass in num. Let me copy this and paste and directly pass in 0 0.7 which will be treated as double type data. Okay. So one thing is whatever number you input it will be converted to binary before any type of uh, comparisons. Okay. So that's the basic thing. So let me compile and run this program for you and show you the number of bytes occupied by float and double. So look at the first line, the output. So this num variable is of type float. So it consumes four bytes of data on your machine. So the second line size of 0 0.7, it's treated as double. So it's taking eight bytes of data storage inside your memory. So while comparing float with double, for example, pi is 3.14. You could also write it as 3.1415 like that. So more, if you have more precision in your, in the number of digits, it will be treated as greater than the less precisioned number. So that's what is happening in this case. So quick fix is you could type cast this double to float by appending f to it that's it so it will be 0 0.7 will be treated as floating point value so let me compile and run this for you so look at the first three lines of this output first line num is float so it's taking four bytes second line 0 0.7 is double so it's taking eight bytes and the third output is 0 0.7 double is converted to floating point data so it's taking four bytes once again so the quick fix is I'll append f here and convert this double 0 0.7 is double so I'm converting or type casting it to float so comparing floating point value with floating point value so it should output yes true now and it's working as intended so the second quick fix is convert this float to double itself now remove this f now we are comparing double with double double type data with double type data so it should again print yes true that is the code inside if block gets executed yes true is printing so these are the two quick fixes so i prefer using float itself when we have less precisioned number like this 0 0.7 and all so i'll write float here instead of double and convert this 0 0.7 which is double I'll typecast it to float by appending it with F. That's it. So this is very important. Logically, you might think number which is which has 0 0.7 as its value is equal to 0 0.7. But still, you'll, you'll keep getting wrong results and you may not understand why it's happening and you may use debugging tools and all and you might bring on your colleagues to check that and most of the times these small things in a big program uh, you can't trace it so know this wherever you you are using floating point 
uh, variables keep that in mind when you are comparing it with a constant either there are two quick fixes either you convert that constant to floating point uh, to a data type that is float by appending it with f or else instead of using float create a variable of type double so use these two things it will it will avoid a lot of headache going ahead in your lengthy programs so that's it hope this helps you please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic and please share this video with your friends on on your uh, chat applications like uh, whatsapp telegram etc maybe in social networking site like linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you